Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Dr. Noshin Afsha and you are watching Dr. Noshin Afsha YouTube. उम्मीद करती हूं कि आप हमेशा की तरह बहुत खुश होंगे और इस वीडियो को देखने के लिए आपकी बेहद मशकूर हूं और मजीद वीडियोस देखने के लिए मेरे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को भी प्रेस कर दें सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन हमारा आज का टॉपिक है डायाजीन्स जिसमें हम देखेंगे डायाजीन्स का इंट्रोडक्शन इसकी टाइप्स अलॉन्ग विद इट्स देयर स्ट्रक्चर फार्मूलाज एंड देयर जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड द सिंथिस ऑफ वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डायाजीन्स दैट इज पायरिडाजीन सो वी विल स्टडी द सिंथिस ऑफ पायरिडाजीन अलॉन्ग विद इट्स मेकेनिज्म ऑल्सो सो नाउ वट आर द डायाजीन्स एक्चुअली इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू वर्ड्स दैट इज डाई एंड एजीन्स डाई मीन्स टू एंड एज एज अ एज अ इंडिकेट्स द नाइट्रोजन so uh, it indicates such compounds which contain two nitrogen atoms so let's see what are the arrangements of the two nitrogen atoms so in the ring systems or in aromatic compounds if the two nitrogen atoms are placed at ortho position or one two position then such compounds are called as pyridazine and if these the one nitrogen is placed at the meta position with respect to the other nitrogen like this one and this meta position is also called as one three position so if two nitrogens are placed at meta position or at 1 3 position then these are called as pyrimidine and if these two nitrogens are at 1 4 position then the compound would be called as pyrazine so in this way all these are aromatic in nature and same like benzene but the only difference is that the two nitrogens in these diazines substitute the two carbon atoms in the benzene drink so these such type of aromatic compounds consisting of two nitrogens at either 1 2 or 1 3 or 1 4 position are called as diazine the examples are pyridazine pyrimidine and pyrazine where the nit position of the nitrogens is 1 2 1 3 1 4 so the next thing is if the benzene ring is fused with this pyridazine at either 3 4 position the possibility for three four position is along both sides here if we start from here 1 2 and 3 4 position would be this one and if we start from this nitrogen the one then this nitrogen is 2 then 3 4 position would be this one so because this compound is symmetrical so in this way the both uh, if the benzene ring is fused along either side this side or along this side at 3 4 position the co resultant compound would be the, would be the same and that would look like this here this these are the two nitrogens this is the benzene ring now see if we don't consider this benzene ring then we start from here 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this benzene ring is fused at 3 4 position of this pyridazine and its name is sinoline so if we start the numbering system of the sinoline it would follow the nomen uh, the numbering system of fused ring systems like naphthalene and anthracene 
and according to the numbering system of the fused ring systems we always start from this position at number one then number two three four five six seven and eight and these shared positions are named after this four it would be four prime and after this eight it would be eight prime and the other possibility for the benzene ring to fuse with this pyridazine is at 4 and 5 position. So at this 4, 5 position, it would look like this. Here for at first we draw pyridazine that is like this and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 then at this 4 and 5 position we draw a benzene ring that is like this so it also we will start the number 1 system from this 1 then 2, 3, 4, 4 prime 5, 6, 7, 8 and 8 prime this carbon this shared carbon and its name would be thalazine it is pronounced as thalazine the pH is pronounced as a silent character so this was the possibility for pyridazine to fuse with benzene ring and the next possibility for benzene ring to fuse with pyrimidine so for pyridazine there lies two possibilities for the benzene ring but in the case of pyrimidine and pyrazines there is only one possibility for the benzene ring to get fused with this so here This is the pyrimidine and the benzene ring always gets attached with this position. Uh, so it's better to write it like this. The shared bond is doubly bonded carbons. It would look like this. So here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, uh, and in the other way, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, in the case of pyrimidine, the benzene ring gets fused with it at 4 and 5 positions. At the 4, 5 positions of the pyrimidine, the benzene ring gets fused. To form the new product that is quinazoline. That is quinazoline, and the numbering system for quinazoline is like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here it is four prime, and it is eight prime. So benzene ring gets fused with this pyrimidine at only four five position not at any other position and similarly for the pyr pyrazine for pyrazine is also there is only one possibility for the benzene ring that is Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Benzene gets fused with the pyrazine at only 5, 6 position. And the new numbering system is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 prime, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8 prime. And the name of this compound is quinoxaline. Quinoxaline. It is quinoxaline quinoxaline so this was 
the general introduction of the diazines the next is what is the pyridazine besides its structure formula the pyridazine is actually a stable colorless compound that are soluble in water and there are these three parent heterocycles unlike pyridine that are pyridazine pyrimidine and pyrazine unlike pyridine these are expensive and are not readily available and that means these are not commonly available to synthesize the other heterocycles rather they are seldom used as starting materials for the synthesis of their derivatives and there are only two ways in which a benzene ring gets fused with the pyridazine that we have studied and only one way to get fused with the pyrimidine and pyrazine and the striking aspect of the physical properties of diazine's trio is the high boiling point of pyridazine the pyridazine shows high boiling point the value for that is 207 degree celsius so the boiling point is really high up to 207 degree celsius for pyridazine now we see its synthesis as there are so many ways to synthesize pyridazine but for the sake of simplicity we see its synthesis from only two ways the first one is by cycloaddition of 1 2 4 5 tetrazine with an alkyne so the tet 1 2 4 5 tetrazine with, uh, reacts with an alkyne to form pyridazine let's see the general reaction for that here it is like this one as the name indicates one two four five tetrazine one two three four Five. here you see one two four five tetrazine tetrazine mean as a as indicates az as indicates the nitrogen and tetra that means four nitrogens are present in this compound at the positions one two four and five as this one two four and five here at these two carbons there are any substituent is present let's see this is R1 and here it is R2. Now uh, make it the aromatic in nature and it reacts with alkyne. That means C, C and here it is attached with R3 and R4. So now what, what does it do? it is shifted to this this is shifted to this position and this is at this so at this carbon and this carbon this carbon in this arrow means this carbon would form the new bond between this double bond this triple bond one pi bond from this triple bond would form new bond between this carbon and this carbon this double bond would be shifted between these two nitrogens and this double bond would be shifted between this carbon and this carbon to form a new sigma bond and the uh, next step would be like this
as R3 and R4 and here this is the triple bond one pi bond would be broken down and the other double bond would be like this and here R3 is attached here it is R4 then here it is R2 this R2 is here R2 here is R1 then these two nitrogens with double bond and these double doubly bonded nitrogens would remain as it is like this now what would happen this double bond bond would be shifted along this it would be shifted to this here this bond would be broken this pi bond would be broken down here when this bond would be shifted between these two nitrogens it would also be broken then this bond would be shifted along these carbons and it would also be broken down and then our final product would look like this Here it is R1, R2, here it is R3, R4 and here two, uh, there is a double bond between two nitrogens. Then this along these positions there would be one double bond and this N2 would be eliminated in the form of n triple bond n that is also may be written as n2 it would be eliminated so for the sake of simplicity we just write it like this minus n2 that means the n2 has been eliminated from the reaction medium and as this is our final product as these are at one two position so this compound is known as pyridazines or pyridazine derivative this is the first uh, first root of its synthesis so second root of synthesis would be studied in the next lecture thank you very much for watching the video allah hafiz